Welcome to Food is Medicine with Dr. Paul Gannon. So today we're going to cook some Brussels sprouts. I know it sounds simple, I know it sounds boring, but Brussels sprouts are one of the most controversial vegetables on the planet. Some people hate them, some people love them, but they're so good for you that you actually should be loving Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are a member of the cabbage family, and cabbage helps keep estrogen metabolized into the good estrogen, the estrogen that doesn't cause cancer so much as the bad estrogens do. All cabbage, all cruciferous vegetables will do that for you. Broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, even cauliflower to an extent, they're kind of all related in that way. So let's get started. Now, our Brussels sprouts, first we're gonna Take off the end and cut them in half. Very simple. Of course you want to remove any yellowed leaves. Very simple. This is most of your work. Now another way to do it, some people like their Brussels sprouts whole and then they will actually put in a little cross. You know what? I really, unless they're very small, I like them cut in half. That's just my own preference, but you can do it any way that you want. On to the next step, washing your Brussels sprouts. Now I find that sometimes Brussels sprouts tend to get dry from sitting on the shelf for so long. They are a vegetable, they are a winter vegetable, so they are designed by nature to store throughout the winter, which is exactly what they do very well. As a result, what ends up on your supermarket shelf can be pretty old. So if you soak them for an hour or two or three or even overnight after you've cut them, they will clump up and get a lot juicier. Our Brussels sprouts are now washed. If you're using a stainless steel pan, heat the pan first. That will stop things from sticking. This is some olive oil. Just gonna coat the pan here. Add our Brussels sprouts. If you're using olive oil, you don't want the oil to get super hot. All you're gonna do is saute with the olive oil. It will hold up as long as you don't make it too hot. And these Brussels sprouts are going to be sautéed at a low heat for a long time, almost the equivalent of roasting them in the oven. It's going to pull out the sugars. The sugars are going to kind of caramelize. So you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So adding some salt will also help bring the juices out, helping them to sauté it in their own juice. We're going to cover this. And we're going to keep this at low to medium heat for a long time. 20 minutes, 45 minutes, you're going to keep watching it and making sure that nothing is burning. Just going to add a little bit of water. And you can see that nice deep glazing that just happened on the pan. Cools things down a little bit. The juices are now a little concentrated. And you can see that we're starting to get a nice color on our Brussels sprouts. What you're really looking for is for the Brussels sprouts to melt in your mouth. Mmm. Oh my god. Delicious. Really delicious. I'm going to serve these Brussels sprouts over some spicy brown rice. And we're ready to eat. Just remember, with your Brussels sprouts, the key to delicious Brussels sprouts is for them to be soft. You want to saute them slowly. Now these have been sauteing for about half an hour or so, low temperature. I've added water many times, just a minimal amount of water to keep them steaming, keep them soft. And I've tried to deglaze them many times, which means that water evaporating down to nothing, the pan getting slightly brown, right before it's about to burn, you add more water. And then that deglazing process that will bring more flavor. Mm. Absolutely unbelievable. There's no one that will say they don't like Brussels sprouts. I am Dr. Paul Gannon. Check out my website at drpaulgannon.com. Thanks for joining in today.